What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, AVD Hero, back again with a, another video. And in today's video, we got the preview of tonight's game. The Charlotte Hornets Summer League versus the Portland Trailblazers Summer League squad in Las Vegas, starring my dog, Leangelo Ball, James Booknight, Kai Williams, and a host of Trailblazers. Let's get into it. Oh, my dude, AB the hero. What's up? Well, we getting it down in the ball of state, baby. Hey, hey. AB, way to get out of the lane. Hey, way to get out of the lane. What do you thought about that, Jay? I like that. Yeah, I told you, he's up, he's up for four. Let's go. I'm out. <laughs> All right, appreciate y'all subbing to the channel, hitting the notification bell. Um, we, we bringing the content. We got the pregame, we gonna have the post game, so that notification is important. Also, hit the like button on the channel, the subs. The... Appreciate y'all. We've been growing. 13,000 on our way to 14K, let's keep it moving. All right, now, it's a big day. It's a big day. Summer League is getting started. And, and for some reason, when it's a ball in the Summer League, and it's our last time probably uh, like with the, the debut, but it be buzzing, it be hot. We remember we go way back to when Lonzo was running the Summer League and it was a movie, you feel me? At the same time, uh, Melo was in, in Vegas taking on Zion. It was crazy time in, in the basketball community. Fast forward 2021. It's a crazy time again in the basketball community. We got Leangelo Ball making his summer league debut tonight. Sunday, August 8th at 6 p.m. You can watch it on NBA TV. If you can't watch the game, come back after the game is over. I'm going to have a recap for you, and we're going to dig in there deep. We're going to talk statistics. We're going to talk rotations, gameplay, uh, positive, negatives, good, bad, plus, minus, the whole vibe. We're going to come back with that. So stick with your boy. Y'all know how we do. We give it up. All right? Another game tomorrow night, so I'm hype about that as well. We get four games. Then we fast forward a couple days, and then, you know what I'm saying, Thursday and Saturday. But we'll be back. We'll be ready for all of those games. So it's going to be up and also, as the kids would say, stuck. Now, in today's preview, I want to look at the rosters, right? Because, like I said, the first game here, Hornets kick off versus the Trailblazers. Now, this is interesting to me. Because as you see, we'll look at this Trailblazers rosters. And, and what I want you to do is take a second and point out um, what we would call the differences between these two rosters. Can you spot the difference? That's the question, okay? Look at these rosters here. Look at, look at some of these players here. All right, all right. See if you recognize some of the names. Look at these NBA years. See the difference over here. See if you recognize these names. And look at how long they've been in the league. You have a Hornets team with all rookies and one-year players. Vernon Carey one year, uh, Nate Darling one year, Nick Richards, Grant Riller, and Kenny Williams, a five-year guy. Kenny, shout out to you. And then you look over here at this Portland Trailblazers roster and you see Michael Beasley, the Michael Beasley at the top of the roster? Mike. 11-year NBA vet from Kansas State is playing tonight. I like it, though. Because I want to see my dog Jello head-to-head -head with the best. And I know it's a lot of folks in these streets who make the excuse, oh, but it was a summer league. But there's Mike Beasley. Y'all know him. All right, we go down here. We got Kenneth Fareed, another formidable forward. We got Emmanuel Moody, another five-year guy, notable dude. You know him. You heard the name before if you uh, in the basketball community. So we look at this head-to-head -head matchup. Now, some of the interesting stuff here outside of that, right? I think it's always cool. And it's so, so I think that I wonder how folks feel about this, right? When you see Leangelo Ball and it says prior to NBA, home, country, and they give him the shout-out, Prenus. 
V I'm sorry, Vitotas Primi, Lithuania, USA. Obviously, we all know he played in the JBA after that, but I say that because um, there was a lot of the the pre new pre new situation, the Vitotas thing didn't end well, right? It was a lot of slander. They was calling out Lavar's all of this stuff. So I'm, I'm sure that there's like this part is like, damn, I hate to have to consistently be tied to that squad because that's the one that everybody wants to go to. Like that's 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 your most notable thing, LKL. Um, over there. So I, I don't know. To me, that's interesting. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, we look at this here. We say starting lineup. We got uh, Jello here at a, at forward, and uh, and and we already know from listening to the coaches talk. Y'all been rocking with the channel. He's gonna probably play some small forward. It's really hard to see, and it'll be interesting to see if he like cracks that starting lineup tonight, or you know what I mean, how they'll play with. with how they will because they have a lot of guys who they just signed this year right or they drafted um require acquire rights to them and all of these different things so it'll be interesting to see for me how they prioritize these guys right if if jello a dude who they said he said it they said it he was in the gym with his brother hooping playing ball with the squad running and they were like yo your brother can hold Maybe we should give him a shot. And he was like, yes, maybe you should. So to me, that says a lot. That says that we've seen you play and we know you can play. But now where do you stack that against guys who you recruited, scouted, I mean, and drafted and, and, and acquired through these different uh, trades and all of that stuff? Like where where's your value to them at? I think we'll get that answer tonight, which will be interesting to see. Another thing I'll say going back to the Portland side, if I'm on the Portland Trailblazers squad, I'm 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 semi nervous because they did not take the time to throw this in the table. Y'all ain't sort this or you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you got it in alphabetical order over here, but but come on, man, look at this over here with the Charlotte Hornets, nice and neat, presentable, uh, color coded with the columns and all that stuff. That I'm sorry on the tangent, but you know what I'm saying? That that's some stuff to check out, man. Um, um, I'm players i'm excited to see i'm excited to see james book night because i've said this a few times I, I i i'm interested in college basketball i went to like when they were march madness here in indy um i checked some games out some of that stuff is interesting i i, I appreciate those guys but i really don't watch a lot right so uh, a james book night somebody i've heard a lot of great things about but I'm, I'm really ready to see it, right? I've seen some of the highlights. The kid looks athletic, look like he can score at all different levels. And I'm excited to see that. Kai Jones uh, and uh, JT Thor, who is not listed here, but will be playing on the squad. Um, big dude, super athletic. I'm excited to see where they fit in that. Another thing I wanted to point out, and I'll do this before I forget, is height-wise, this Hornets team is going to have a size advantage over this uh, um, Portland Trailblazers team who is really full of guards and, and maybe small fours, right? You look at here, you got Mike Beasley, who is uh, tied to be the tallest guy on the team, 6'9", uh, Greg Brown, 6'9", um, Trenton Watford, 6'9", six, six, and you go over here, you got 6'11", 6'11", uh, JT Thor, who I believe is also 6'11", 6'10", 6'10", forward, 6'10", you know what I'm saying? So you, you got the size advantage over here um, and the youth advantage technically, but same thing on this uh, Portland Trailblazers team. I'm, I'm interested to see how they go. I, they have some some veterans on the squad. And to me, I feel like if you are 11 years in the NBA and you're playing in the summer league, it's like you had to call somebody and be like, bro, come on, man. Give me a, I need a favor on this one, right? I'm trying to get back. Let me, let me prove myself. Let me do something like that. And it feels like that's what's happening with that stuff. But um, we'll see, man. I'm excited to see where this game goes. Uh, we, we probably will drop some more videos between now and then. Um, but definitely we'll have a recap video. And if it's Liddy, um, and, and if y'all want to see it or something, maybe we even go live this evening after the game and all of that. Cause I, I really want to watch the game. So if I do a stream during the game, I, I'm probably not even going, I'm going to be locked in, locked into the game. And I'm not even going to be paying attention. So 
Um, I, I don't really want to put y'all through that. You feel me? But it's your main man, AV the Hero. We finna get up out of here. Appreciate y'all tuning into the channel. Let's go. No, not peace. Plus one, triple beads. We out. There it is.